Hello, here's another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find so many math videos. This one uh, is about parallel lines and bearings. They're actually two different topics but they relate to each other quite a lot. Let's start with parallel lines. Well, here are two parallel lines. That's what they look like. They will never meet each other, will they? Because they keep going on. Uh, in the same direction but they will never meet each other and you put these uh, sort of double lines, double arrows on them to show that they are parallel but you can have a single arrow and single arrow and that would also be uh, describing parallel lines now um, between parallel lines you can make angles that are equal to each other for example you can see E and N are parallel you would call them corresponding lines or so have I got here X and Y oh yeah X and Y are also corresponding lines and you can see that in both cases it is sliding down sliding down so that's corresponding now some people call it F angles, I just think that's a bit silly really um, but uh, there you go, here's an F shape and there you go, you've got your corresponding angles, actually I really don't like that F angle idea but then um, uh, Y to E alternate angles that kind of makes a bit more sense when they say alternate angles are Z angles that's um, it's a bit more helpful actually so Y and E are in this Z shape over here okay in the creases of the Z sort of thing um, so this angle is equal to that angle E is equal to Y um, if you have a Z angle, you can do the Z angle backwards as well. So you could do it like that, um, but I haven't marked those in. So, uh, so that's alternate or Z angle. But the proper names are alternate angles, and corresponding angles a proper name, not F angle, etc. Uh, vertically opposite. That's such an easy one to understand. It's just opposite angles. Okay, are equal. So I could have said these two angles are equal as well. Um, they are also vertically opposite. Uh, when you say vertically opposite, they're not actually vertical in any way, really. Um, these are, I mean, you can see horizontally opposite, you could say, but that's not a proper name. It's just called vertically opposite. So that's parallel lines done, okay? And in a minute, we're going to be talking about it again because uh, they're involved in bearings. So what is a bearing? As you can see, the bearing of B from A is 30 degrees uh, and why is that because first of all bearings are just directions and uh, when I say directions it's not even a complete direction it's not going to go all the way that, that many miles this way all it is is turn this direction that's what it is it is simply an angle but an angle uh, in a specific way it has to be uh, measured from the north so when you draw on your piece of paper you don't actually look for north you just draw, you draw straight up and you call it north okay and uh, and it has to be clockwise you can't go the other way you have to go clockwise every single time so it's a direction to you start from a place and go to a place and so I'm doing it from A so I, this is my turning point and I you know turn 30 degrees from the north point clockwise and that's really as simple as it is um, yep okay and there are other important words to know Oh, understand what does due north mean? That means go straight north. That's what it means. And due east means go straight east. So uh, B is due east of D. Okay, so you're getting straight east. That's all a bit boring, really. Um, now this is where the bearing stuff come in. I mean, sorry, this is where the parallel line stuff come in. Okay. Um, just saying uh, the bearing of B from A is quite straightforward you know you just go 70 degrees okay but what is the back bearing that's sometimes what it's called or the bearing uh, back from B to A how do I get back to where I started um, well uh, this is what you have to work out this bearing here okay because it's from north and it's going sending you all the way back to A because it will you make you point back 
2a. Now how do you work it out? Well, a uh, technique is to make a dotted line that continues this uh, line uh, that we had from a to b and then we can calculate this angle on the top of the dotted line between the north line and the dotted line i.e. Uh, the bearing from north to the dotted line is also 70 degrees because the north lines actually just make um, parallel lines so you can use this idea of corresponding angles um, it's basically just sliding across that's also 70 degrees you see and then uh, this line on the bottom is a line on a, an angle sorry this angle on the bottom is an angle on a straight line which is 180 degrees it's going from that direction all the way back to a so that's just 70 there 180 there add them together and you get 250 degrees so that's uh, your bearing of a from B, so I'm at from B, yeah, this, so since it's from B, the turning point is at B, and you get back to A uh, with a bearing of 250 degrees, and that is as simple as, as it gets. Thank you, bye bye.